dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I call this iPhone Inception. Congratulations, Lucas. He has his first tooth. Yeah, and it's so fun when he gets a tooth. Let's Can you see it? Uh, let's see. It. It's kind of tricky. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Well, here we go. Hold on. I guess you're just going to have to trust us. Lucas got his first tooth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Mom, you have all the marshmallow in your head. I actually have it all over my face. I can feel it. It's on my cheek. <laughs> I made a huge mess, but my hands are full. I cannot wipe my face right now. This is our second fire. The wood's not very good. So it took a long time to. I had to actually put gas on it to get it going. Yeah. <laughs> two and a half cups of gas on that. Two and a half? No. I didn't put two and a half cups of gas. <laughs> Daddy is going to make something cool with the fire. Woo, wow. All right, they're gonna throw a marshmallow in. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, there's a marshmallow. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. It looks like a worm or something. Ew. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. It's blowing up. It's blowing up. <laughs> Whoa, it's growing. <laughs> it's so it weird. seriously looks like it's alive. Yeah. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, it's so yeah. mine in there. Oh, oh. Touch it. Uh, go ahead, touch it. Go ahead, touch it. Okay. Touch it. See what happens. Ah! <laughs> oh, check this out. <laughs> I always drive by this building. Usually the building's lit up like green or blue and it's fun to see which color it'll be in the morning. Today it was rotating red, white, and blue. I assume it's for Veterans Day, which was yesterday. I'm a little, little perk of coming here early. Oh, and there's one last thing I wanted to show you before I got steady in. Eden made me this. It's called a love machine. So it's, it's a machine that makes me love everybody so that I'll be nice to everybody. And Eden made it for me and she insisted that I carry it around in my backpack. So I do. I think it was very sweet of her. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. A love machine rock. Thank you, Eden. Hey, Lucas. Lucas, do this. <laughs> oh, this kid's a riot. Last night, now we're on fire tonight. And I guess Stephanie doesn't like to um, 
wash her hair after the, the her hair smells like smoke. And so tonight, she's decided she's going to wear <laughs> Yes, cap. I'm wearing a shower cap. It's a plastic cap. I just washed my hair this afternoon. I don't want to wash it again tomorrow before church. So, I am trying to protect it from the smoke smell. My theory is it's not going to work. <laughs> it's worth a try. News update. Apparently, Stephanie's shower cap worked. See my beautiful hair? I don't even have to wash it today. I just wanted to give you an update that I was wrong yesterday. Looking ridiculous was worth it. And a thousand percent. Even though we judge her for it. She doesn't have to wash her hair today. <laughs> Man, those two are so hilarious. They're out there making fart noises with their mouth. You remember how fun that was? Oh, Allegra and Eden, they're just best friends and we love it. We really love it. Yes? Hey! <laughs> the first, the second time before I did that, I walked out with my boogers coming out, and then I wiped it on my dress, and then it'll stick to a crumb. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I did that. That's it. That thing that was. It looks so close at that. <laughs> <laughs> this. You're doing a good job. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what the drone is. Um, okay. I'm trying to find it with this though. Oh, I see it. That it's right in the center. Yes. A little dot. So Allegra is flying the drone by herself. This isn't my camera, this is Stephanie's, so I don't know. Like I can't, I don't know if I'm getting it far enough or if this is even in focus. But Allegra, all the footage that you're gonna see from now forward is Allegra flying the drone. All of it. Well, until I tell you we're done. We're done. That's her flying the drone. How was it? Good. What did you like most about it? Um, that I was flying it all by myself. Nice. Dad gave me five minutes to play with the camera. Even though it's my bedtime, it's seven o'clock. Hello. Hello. How are you doing?
Okay. So, what I wanted you to do is like uh, awesome stuff. Uh, Hello. It is my baby brother's Lucas's first time in my Nanny's bathtub. <laughs> Give them all our bath toys. Get there. Got the camera on you, Lucas. <laughs> he also likes to grab cameras. He always tries and grabs the, the remote, daddy's glasses, and daddy's phone. What are you guys up to? What would you rather be doing? What's that? Turn off the TV, let's fly the drone. One of the drone rules is you're not supposed to fly it, I think, until you're 16, 13, 16. Well, this one's four. Look at that. Apparently the girls have this thing called a camp location. And they put all their dolls out on the back porch. I don't know what is happening. I required that they put their coats on. <laughs> Good job, girls. Wait, you don't have shoes on, though. Oh. Silly? Oh my gosh. You don't have shoes on. It's okay. How old is it out there? up against the gate and the fence so I decided that um, I needed to secure it and the only way I could really think is to get those bags that you put like if you have a truck you put the 68 pound bag of sand it's like a tube sand I'll show you a uh, video of it the tube sand you put it over the back wheels of your truck in the winter so that you don't I don't know it gives it more weight in the back so the only thing I could think of they're cheap and they're 68 pounds a piece so that trampoline is not going anywhere, uh, I hope. 204 pounds. Oh man. Let's hop inside, girls. Yeah. We're getting ready for a winter. See these right here? Stephanie got them for me. And the cool thing about them is these two fingers can go through and work an iPhone. And that was, I guess, when we lived in New Jersey, everyone's complaint to New York was 
and even in New Jersey with the iPhone that you couldn't wear gloves and use your iPhone or in cold weather you couldn't use your iPhone and I'm sure they've come up with other inventions but this is the first time I've had gloves that the the fingers will work the fingers will work even if my gloves are on All right, I'm gonna hand it to Stephanie she's stepped up her her game as far as like her like I don't know just overall everything like we were talking about it yesterday and there's things that she just does perfect so anyway Stephanie you're the best when I went up to meet Stephanie's dad and Marilyn to get his permission to marry Stephanie he asked me like why do you want to marry my daughter and I said well she's not like any other girl I've met and then of course Marilyn being a counselor or like having a background in counseling she goes how so kind of like drilled down into my to my surface answer and my first thing I, I said and I, and I meant it and I mean it today is she's one of the only girls I've dated she's the only girl I've dated actually that I would 100% trust with my kids trust that that if I were not home if I were off at work if I was doing something I would 100% trust her to just take care of everything and I do so Stephanie thank you and like not only do you take care of everything but you step it up and it's just it's great I go home and I can relax I can play with the girls I can hang out with the family and I just I spend so much time here and I and, and all I want to do is go home and relax and spend time with the family and she makes it 100% possible so babe thank you anyway I gotta get I gotta study then I can go home and hang out with the family. Okay, so Stephen and I were just talking about his study, new study schedule, and when he is the most effective, which is very early in the morning. And he said, I'm going to start getting up at 4, or whatever he said. And you're like, actually, tomorrow, maybe I'll get up at 3, because I'm just so effective in the mornings. And if you would have told me a year into our marriage, 11 years later, Stephen will be in law school, eating super healthy, and getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to study law, never to believe you. So, I'm super happy that, that Steve and you <laughs> have found what works for you and have found how to work hard, and I'm super proud of you, actually. Thank you. You're welcome.